welcome back to another video today well yesterday um i had a message on facebook some a subscriber tracked me down on facebook and um he had some stuff to sell uh fishing gear now i haven't got a single clue when it comes to fishing the closest i've been to fishing is hook -a duck um, but I'm always open to a deal and to learn. Um, so he sent me some pictures, done a little bit of research on, on what he had. And, uh, and then he had a, a few other, a couple of other bits. So I've, I just said, yeah, I'll go for it. Why not? I don't think there's going to be as much opportunity to spend money. Um, especially car boots in the early part of next year. So I thought I'd go for it. It wasn't like massively expensive, but for what I got, I think I got a good deal. So I'll show you what I got. So it was a load of carp fishing gear. Um, now a lot of it is in really good condition um, so this is like a chair Witchwood signature it's barely been used I think he said he used it once um, we've got this crossed cast X5000 sounds like a gun out of Call of Duty or something um, but yeah, used it once, maybe, yeah, once. Really nice condition. Not that I'm an, a fishing expert, but you can tell it's pretty shiny. Um, then there was uh, what they're called rods, fishing rods, carp fishing rods. Ugh, one second. Uh, so this bag, what we got in here? Free car, couple of reels, carp rods. I think they are branded somewhere. Um, oh, that's the net handle. So like that. Uh. landing nets and in this one I've got Fox Horizon three pound rod um, now this is stickered at 89.99 and that is Reels, reel from there, I think. Whatever that is, I can't remember what it's. I'll have to message him. Um, yeah. So the other thing was this carp La uh, What's it called? You um, a chub carp bag, so when you've caught the fish, you put it in there on the side of the bank. Uh, I think I've got an umbrella uh, in this bag, another reel, unset 5000. I think so that's a cheaper model, but still money in it. Uh, I'm just bit, little bits and bobs in there. Um, was that it? So I paid one forty for that. It also came with a Beano cookie jar and a WWF tanker, like beer glass. One forty. So. 
I think um, I think I'll do all right on that. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've had a little bit of a change around, so I've moved the um, the counter uh, to where it is gonna go. So this is where I'll be standing behind, but um, yeah. The fishing, no, the golf bag has gone to my number one watched item. So that must be you guys watching, just to see if it sells. So don't mind. Um, yeah, uh, I had a message saying someone had sold um, a similar, or exactly the same, but in, it was new and sealed. So it's just a, New and sealed for 800. So I might increase the price. Um, yeah, it's got 40 watches in just under two days. So it's got to be you guys, got to be. <laughs> hey, with the fishing gear, I'm probably going to list easiest to hardest. So. I'll put the chair on, that should be easy to post, easy to pack, easy to send. I'll put that bag on as well, the cart bag. I think I'll get my money back, just with them items there. The problem is, does anyone, if anyone has any experience in posting fishing rods, let me know because, I mean they're pretty delicate, they're expensive and because of the length of them i don't know many carriers would would take such a um a parcel of that size um it says this one's 20 20 years old and it's pretty delicate i'll see if i can get it out so this is this is what it looks like it's like carbon for that says quality quality fiji product um yeah really nice but it feels nice fox so yeah fox horizon three pound fishing rod that one and these are the the lower value ones but still um still quite a decent amount of money in there free carp spool system um, so yeah, I think I've got a good deal there, 140. Um, I think the cookie jar, I haven't got it out of the car yet. The cookie jar's worth, in the condition it's in, probably about 30 pound. Some of the paint's come off. And the WWF mug, um, that's probably worth about 12 to 15 pounds, I'm expecting. Um, we're on Tuesday, getting close to Christmas, and I'm still getting sales come through. Um, I'll put them up there. Two mini discs, a French one. Can't remember now. I'll put an out there. I can't remember it. Fair de Cass or something. Fred something de Cass. Twenty eight quid. It was on for forty. Took an offer. Twenty eight. That's going to Germany. And. Oasis, what's the story? Morning Glory mini disc. It was on for 60, aiming high. I uh, had an offer of 40 and I took that, so that was today. Um, I've sold two, I'm still selling Christmas stuff this morning. Two of them. Um, £32 each, that's £64 for them. That was part of the Christmas, uh, that was part of the, the kitchen stuff. Uh, so that was 64 quid and then a couple of records um, if you want to I always put the music I've sold on my Instagram uh, brum underscore reseller is my uh, Instagram um, so thanks for watching I'll try and keep the videos coming over well probably die down a bit over Christmas but there might be a Sunday car boot all being well with the weather it's been terrible today um, but if it's not raining, I'm sure it'll be on. So hopefully there'll be another car boot video. Hopefully more golf bags.
Um, but thanks for watching. And if I don't have a, another video out, have a great Christmas. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Cookie jar. As you can see, it's... Um, it's seen better days. And that was the uh, WWF mug, the Hardy Boys. Um, yeah, these were the record. These were the mini discs. What story money? Patricia Cass, Le Mot de Pass. Never heard of her. Um, so in sales, there's two records, two mini discs, ninety three pounds before fees and postage. But yeah, that was a good um, little stack of media. Um, so, there you have it. Bye.